In today's video, we're going to be going over Chanel's Advent Calendar. For those of you who don't know, big companies like to make specialty items and products. And it just so happens that Chanel, which is a very, very big, ritzy, expensive, overpriced company, brought out a 2021 Advent Calendar. And we're going to take a look at this calendar today because it's funny. Because it's, it's just painstakingly obvious this is one of those instances where a company wants to sit around and say to themselves, what could I do with the mo with minimum amount of effort and charge an astronomical $820 for a product that I can go to the dollar store and get a few stickers and cheap plastic? And no, I'm not exaggerating. Before we begin, special thanks to the sponsor of the channel today, Raycon, and it's just in time for the holiday season. If you're looking for some great quality earbuds, this is the one for you. They're extremely comfortable with a nice snug fit. They have soft, smooth gel tips. They have over a 32 hour battery life and they're available in five stylish different colors. And you also get free shipping and returns. These are their everyday model of earbuds and they are a fraction of the price of your normal earbuds that you would buy on the market today. So if you have that special someone, because it's the holidays, use my discount code linked down below, buyraycon.com slash repsion and use code holiday to get 15% off site wide. Nothing is better than affordability and quality, especially around the holidays for that special someone. Support the channel, click the link. Do you guys remember the company Apple a few years ago made a $700 wheel caster for the Apple Mac Pro? Yes, these are four wheel casters with steel and rubber selling for $700. There was a large outcry, and I think it was well-deserved in my opinion. A lot of consumers like myself like to refer to this as the Apple tax. And boy, well, this one, this is some Apple tax. Even channels on YouTube reviewed these wheels. And there's not a goddamn unique thing about them. There's no special etching, there's no logo, they're just steel and rubber. $700. In today's video, we're going to be going through all the advent calendar gifts that Chanel has provided for their first ever advent calendar release. Now, I have been on YouTube for a long time, but there's one side of the community that I'm not too familiar with. It's the beauty community. And it colored me surprised when I ran down a rabbit hole of looking up advent calendars and finding myself watching advent calendar after advent calendar after advent calendar unboxing of these companies, which is a really big hobby for a lot of women, to collect these advent, advent calendars unbox them, and show off what products you get from these fashion lines. Now, I am going to link a Heated Messes YouTube channel, lady who made this video that I'm going to be referencing here really quickly. I put this in a short compilation list. We're going to go through every single product relatively fast here. Yes, every single product, because why the hell not? You need to see what you're paying for $825. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have another advent calendar unboxing for you, and it is the Chanel Number no. 5 advent calendar. This is the very first year that Chanel has offered an advent calendar and it is a whopping $825. This is the advent calendar. It is the shape of the number five perfume. The material is kind of like kind of a hard cardboard, a very thick cardboard and then it has the gold metal on the side there. One simple toss and that would break. Okay let's try to get okay i gotta get my scissors oh my gosh okay here's day five so i don't own number five eau de parfum i own the wow we were you just given a test copy sample man those are so valuable you can use them free at the store this is day number six it's the number five or their perfume bottle ornament okay that's cute i love ornaments i have a little mini tr christmas tree that Looks like a cat toy. So day number seven. Oh, hand cream. Okay, this is the number five, Lo. I mentioned this in my Chanel Factory 5. Okay, day eight. So day number eight is a pouch. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing because these pouches, literally you get with the purchase of like a beauty product. Okay, so what you're seeing now from Chanel is a one singular person or a group of people that basically said to themselves sitting in an office with a bunch of pencils hmm what's something that we could do the minimum amount of effort and charge the most amount of money 
let's just give things in this $825 advent calendar, products that we would normally give for free that are normally come standard when you buy our products to begin with. Minimum effort, most money. That's this company's policy. Quality, you say? Pfft, who needs that? So day nine is, oh my gosh. <laughs> These are the stickers <laughs> that everyone is talking about. Holy shit. Those are the most stunning, beautiful, immaculate stickers I've ever seen. The text is just popping off that white background sticker. The font is an unseen font. Okay, day 10. Snow globe that I have wanted in the Dior advent calendar and we got a candle instead. Really, Chanel? A plastic base on a snow globe? Snow globes are pretty cool. A lot of them are really high quality made and they're very unique and heavy. And here you have something the size of almost my thumb, maybe two versions, two sizes of my thumb with a plastic base. Like you couldn't even make the base of the snow globe be like stone or some side of, sort of like calliite rock or something, calliite, is that even a mineral? I don't even know what that is. But like that crystal rock, you know what I'm talking about that you see at airports all the time. The 11 red lipstick. So I thought I liked the idea of the boxes, but they actually are kind of frustrating. Okay, so day 12. Day 12 is a ceramic perfume bottle. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be for. What in the world, a ceramic perfume bottle? You could at least, because this is ceramic, you couldn't put more detail to that. It's literally just the shape of the fragrance. It's not like any, in de text indented or any detail. Like you can actually make things very detailed using ceramic. And instead they're so lazy they just do the bottle sizing. No logo, no nothing, just plain white ceramic. I guess it's like a paperweight or something. I guess that's kind of cute. I don't know where I would put this. If you have a suggestion, leave it in the comments, please. Okay, day 13, a sticker, like a puffy sticker. It's supposed to look like the wax seal, wax stickers that they use in their packaging. And day 14, I do use red nail polish on my toes, so I might use this. Okay, day 15, oh, number five. Oh, okay, this is the bookmark. <laughs> this is a Chanel number five magnetic bookmark. I'll use my Dior little journal here. You go to a page. And the bookmark kind of magnetizes over the pages. And there you go. Wow. So innovative. And <laughs> it leaves a mark. <laughs> wow, we Chanel. Your engineering team deserves a round of applause with that one right there. A magnetic bookmark that leaves marks on the physical page. You don't think that when you have so two thing magnetic things and they're snatching together, right? that creates pressure on the paper. And one of the things about paper is if you apply enough pressure on paper, it can actually eventually tear that paper. But in this case, because it's magnetic and the magnetic charge is as strong as it is, it actually rubbed part of the material of the magnetic strip on the book. Thus, if you have a, an old book or you're reading a new book, you're damaging the pages. Okay, so this is day 16, same as the regular number five. Huh, another testing model. Bet you feel really special. Okay, day 17. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's white on the back. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, I guess that's kind of cute. Oh my gosh, this is really small. All right, so this is the bracelet. It was tough getting on. It is so small. I have a plastic seal bracelet. You can do something like shiny silver or something or gold, actual metal. I have pretty small wrists and I was worried that this would break if it went over my hand. This is so small. You need, and then you need like a buddy to hold and, and tighten this. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I would ever wear this. Okay, there's a bracelet. I'm scared to take it off, but I'm gonna try to do it without ripping. That is day 17, the bracelet. Day 18, more stickers, yay. <laughs> Yep, for $825, you can have a pair of now three stickers. Stickers that are so cheap to make and poor to make, I can make them myself. Day 20, okay. Oh, okay. Very fiery red. For some reason, I thought independent would be a nude color. Uh, 
Okay, 19 perfume and then the ribbon and then the double C C is like a clear acrylic. Okay, so 21. So it has this little pouch. The mirror is the number five on the back and then a mirror right here. All right, I have a serious question. How do women even use a mirror that small? I mean, a mirror that small seems like you would open it up and you'd use it to like pick your boogers out of your nose or maybe look at your teeth, you know, really up close or personal. 22, freaking sticker again. Okay, <laughs> this is a sticker again. Uh, yeah, puffy sticker. Four stickers. Here's day 23. Can someone tell me, I, I guess I really should look it up. I don't know what this, this is an interesting length. I guess it's a keychain. Four is this. Animations. Oh, that was the first version. And then, oh, 1924. That's the next one. All right, day 25. Bottle, this is 35 ml or 1.2 ounce. The usual full size is 3.4 ounce. Isn't that a to the face? You're this premium Chanel customer buying their $825 calendar and they can't even give you a full bottle of the normal ounces of the perfume that they have. I'd feel so disrespected as a consumer if this was a brand that I liked. Day 26. I don't know what this is. <laughs> it is a number five cut out in metal. Someone tell me what this is. Day 27. So good. I mean, Again, I'm not a huge fan of number five Eau de Parfum, but all the ancillary products smell so good to me. 28, and it is a <laughs> sticker. <laughs> Set of stickers. Uh. Five stickers. If you've ever wanted to get premium stickers, Chanel's the brand for you. They will fix all of your needs with a nice stick that will leave you begging and asking for more. We wouldn't be the company that we are if we didn't stick to scamming you out of money. Day 29 pin pretty good quality and then the it's got the metal gold metal detailing that's the back of the pin okay, day 30 was up here and it already fell so I will, that's it it doesn't even have anything oh my gosh this looks like <laughs> this looks like a decanted department store sample of the body cream it's got the label there but it's there's no other marking on it or indicator it's almost like like the tester sample that they get at the store Okay, I will trust that this is the body cream even though it just has this sticker on here and then I guess like a lot number. Yeah, screw that. You will never find me using unmarked body cream where I don't know the ingredients and I don't even know the product's name and I'm just gonna put this random stuff on my skin. That's some risky business. 31 and I feel like the dust, they really would have benefited greatly if this were on an elastic band. I mean, it's really tiny and I say this as a very short Asian woman uh, with thin wrists. This is pretty thin. Yep, 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 yep. Now you've seen everything. $825, folks. If I was to ever spend that amount for anything, especially a box of gonna be items, it better have some custom made shit. For $825, I better get something like this, you know? The detail and the quality being absolutely impeccable, custom made, because I love Star Wars. And here's the thing, I can understand spending that much on a product or if a collection, if that fashion, that brand is something that you really are passionate about. I'm not gonna ever dissuade people from not buying collector's items, but if you're buying a product like this and the consumer and the company is literally giving out something that in total is worth less than $100, then you have a problem there. But ladies and gentlemen, we're not done yet. It just so happens that from this YouTube video and tons of TikToks, see TikTok being what it is, yet a lot of people make those short TikTok videos opening this advent calendar. So it wasn't just through YouTube. Chanel did the one thing companies aren't supposed to do. They hide, they run, but most of all, they beep, delete. They deleted their entire TikTok presence because a TikToker tagged them, complaining and criticizing them for the amount that you pay and the value that you get. You really wanna be trusting a company that blocks its consumers for the even smallest amount of criticism such as the value of something that I'm paying for isn't the value of what I want. I don't think that's a really crazy outlandish, you know, stance to hold when you are a consumer. You're spending a lot of money, therefore you want things in the amount of value or at least stuff that's actually unique and special to that brand and exclusive. I understand paying a lot of money for exclusivity, for uniqueness, but this Chanel bag, this ain't it, sis. Save your money, do not fiddle with a company 
that responds this way. Hire some new people in the PR department at Chanel and get some people that actually want to design something unique that makes $825 worth the price tag. I'm just so sick and tired of companies like Apple and now we have Chanel that come along and because of their brand, charge astronomical prices for a very small minority of people who can actually even afford stuff like that, but those people actually buy it. And I realize people are gonna say, well, it's their money, they can do whatever they want. You're right. It is your money, you can spend how your money how you see freely, but if you're gonna post your products that you buy, like Apple casters that are $700 on the internet and brag about how, oh, look at these fancy casters I have, I have the right to make fun of you and think that you're an idiot for paying $700 for wheels or some Chanel stickers. That's just how the world works. Anyways, rant is done. I feel good. I just wanted to vent a little bit because this was really bothering me. Knowing that you like a brand so much and you throw that much amount of money and it's just a slap in the face and even more disrespectful when they run from the simplest criticism that a fashion company can have is that the price doesn't match the items. All my socials will link down below. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you guys next week for another video on the topic of Trisha Paytas.